Hey everyone, I'm um, got a Tahoe video for you guys. Um, gonna do an oil change. Uh, I bought an aluminum radiator because the stock one cracked. I'm gonna do an electric fan conversion and I need to figure out why the AC stays hot. So let's jump right in. Got the old radiator out. Uh, this is a prime example why you want to do an aluminum radiator. This is like a hairline crack right here, just leaking out of the plastic tanks. And like aluminum, it's all all metal. It's not gonna crack. Um, it's just they get hot and cold, hot and cold every day. So they just get brittle and eventually crack. And if they don't crack at the tank, they'll leak right here at the tank and the seams. And these are well, these are literally welded on. So yeah, it's a, it's a way better to. So those that don't know, uh, these fan clutches, they actually absorb engine power. Uh, so that's the whole reason why we're doing the electric conversion, just to have a little bit more gains. And Well, you're not gonna notice it, but your engine's gonna be happier that it doesn't have to give up power to this. And electric is, yeah, it's just the way to go. So I got this kit on Amazon, um, the fans, the shroud, and the radiator itself. And then I got this Mishimoto uh, fan controller kit. And then uh, I got to add this sensor, the coolant temp sensor. This is what controls the, the fans to turn on. And then uh, I'm probably gonna put it about right here. Uh, the thickness of the metal is probably about this, this thick and kind of want more than that for it to grab onto. So I'm gonna add some aluminum here to make it thicker and then we'll drill and tap this and then wash it out get the metal shavings out of there and then we can put this in the truck and then uh mishimoto they give you this awesome line diagram for the controller so we're just gonna wire it up following that and we should be good to go Automatic center punch. Uh, this here is a one eighth MPT probe. And uh, I just picked up this tap, 1 8 MPT pipe tap. And then it says to use a 21 64 drill bit. That's what we got here. Got it drilled out already. But I don't have a T handle to tap this, so I gotta go get one. And then um, if you look inside, you can see it pretty much like double the thickness of what it's gonna grab onto now. I'm gonna put some Teflon and we'll pull it back. Got it in, uh, hooked up the hoses and the tranny lines. I uh, just wanted to move it closer to the house, get it under the shade, it's hot out here. I'm gonna tap into this ignition fuse. We need a 12 volt source. Um, and then I'll just run it down there and we'll hook up everything else. Uh, we're all finished, boys. I put the the relay box on this. Uh, I'm gonna just zip tied it right there. Ran my wires. Fans are blowing right now. Got a paper test. Well, boys, uh, that's all I got for today. The oil change, the radiator, and electric fan conversion. 
I wanted to look at the AC, um, but it's just not working out for me. This is the, the blend door actuator. This controls the airflow to the heater or the cooler, the evaporator. And uh, I unplugged this. I, I turned it over the cool side. It's still blowing hot. Um, I think I just need a compressor at this point. I need to get an AC gauge set and a vacuum pump. And I even uh, tried adding refrigerant, but it still didn't work. Um, it's still blowing hot. I just need to get a gauge set and uh, figure out what it's doing. Uh, probably most likely needs a compressor. Uh, but that's it for today. That's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. My next video is probably going to be either a red truck the, the 93 red truck or another scooter video so uh, yeah be, be on the lookout for that and then um our first forge internals for the the 91 white truck those should be coming this week so that that engine's going to go to the machine shop soon and yeah like comment subscribe see you guys later